Imagine a world where more women had the time to fully explore their genius. Welcome to She Rebel Radio, a community-driven podcast dedicated to supporting women to unlearn conventional rules and create businesses of significance. My name is Lulu Mins. I host retreats and create spaces for entrepreneurial women to explore their genius. And today I'm going to create that same space for you right here on this podcast episode. Are you saying too many resentful yeses? What if no was your default? And how would that make space for more energetic yeses? Welcome to episode 100 of She Rebel Radio, The Energetic Yes. Ladies, it is amazing to be here with you for episode 100, just before we enter into our birthday month. And I thought I'd put a really positive spin on this episode because I've been a little bit negative recently. Let's face it, I've talked about accidents, wars, bootstrapping and safety valves. So not our usual language, but it's been a popular series, our summer series so far, and it's been really great to share it with you. Now, if She Rebel Radio gets a big energetic yes from you, don't forget to subscribe, leave leave us a review and please, please, please share any of the episodes that you super love with a big energetic yes with other incredible women who you feel would benefit from the content that we share on She Rebel. And today we're going to talk about those simple, simple words, but sometimes the hardest ones to say, a simple yes and a simple no. They are the first words that we learn and we practice as toddlers. I joke with my four-year-old nephew that no is his favourite word. He loves to say no to anything you ask him, but it serves him quite well. Sometimes it doesn't serve him very well, but it serves him quite well. So we are going to look at that powerful word no, that women can find so, so difficult. And we're going to start to do a little bit of diagnosis around that. But really, this is an episode also for you to grab a pen and paper because I have some homework for you. I felt like it would be rude of me to not give you some homework on episode 100. I love a little bit of homework. I love self-study. It really helps me to go deeper on this podcast with you in creating that space for you to develop your genius, to step into that genius. And it really allows me to go deeper when I coach with women. So it's important that we have a little homework to do. So grab that pen and paper. And as we dive in, we're going to talk about, you know, the opposite of an energetic yes. What is the opposite of an energetic yes? Have a think about that for a second. And yeah, it's a resentful yes. I called them the resentful yeses. And I just had a one-to-one with a client about those resentful yeses which was super helpful in me creating this episode for you, to diagnose what does a resentful yes look like? And how many times do you think you've said a resentful yes to this week? And those resentful yeses are saying yes when you actually mean no. You know the ones that I mean. Yes trips off the tongue before you've even thought about it. It's your default position. And then you find yourself questioning later on, why the hell did I say yes to this? I don't want to do this. This doesn't feel good to me. And you start to feel irritated, dissatisfied, even hostile to the situation that you find yourself in, which ultimately the only person to blame is ourselves for saying yes in the first place. And that resentful yes, those resentful yeses that we find ourselves in, can really not just take up valuable physical time that we have, but also our headspace. Because you've said yes to something you didn't want to say yes to, so you have this whole narrative and conversation with yourself, taking up more of your energy, right? Of, why did I say yes to this? Now I've got to do this. And there's all of this stuff going on when that energy could be put somewhere else. So these resentful yeses, the yeses that create resentment from for from us to others and also to ourselves are yeses that are out of energetic alignment and therefore they feel heavier. 
There's a heavier, denser energy that surrounds a resentful yes, which really slows us down in the long term. It slows us down with what it is that we may be focused on our agenda, our goals, our intentions, because it's someone else almost coming in and bombarding us with that thing that that just is not a right fit for us at that time. So it's really important to start to identify the resentful yeses that women are so conditioned to say. So I'm going to ask you to take a moment and think about this question. How many resentful yeses have you said yes to this week? How many of those resentful yeses have you made? Let's be honest. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about that. Is it one? Is it two? Is it ten? Really think about it. And we're going to look at what would making no your default button look like instead? And I'm constantly saying this to clients, make no your default button. If it's not a how yes, it's a how no. And how do we do a little bit more of that? One thing that we can do is really write down what three things, what three intentions or goals, whichever word that you prefer, what your intentions and goals are that particular month and put them somewhere in your office or diary or wherever it is that you work in front of you. So you know what your how yeses are before anyone else has their agenda or what they they may feel that they need from you. And when we make no our default position, which when I say that, I mean that no trips off your tongue instead of yes. And we have to practice that, okay? It's not something, particularly if you're definitely a resentful yes person and you identify with being a people pleaser and maybe this is something that you've been working on. I want you to practice the no, saying no, saying no to those really simple things. Even as a joke, I do that. If people ask, you know, can they do something really nice for me? Like, you know, make me a cup of tea or take the bins out or, you know, whatever it might be. I just like, no, of course you can't do that. And it's a joke. But it really, when we say no as a default position, and I was a bit, that's why I really identify with my nephew. I was quite a grumpy child. You'd be surprised to know. I had the grumpy care bear and all of that jazz. And and, and no was a word that I practiced. It was not the hardest word for me. And it served me well as a, a defense lawyer as well. That, you know, you try and use that word because what, when we say no first, what that does is it creates space for us to think about whether it actually may be a how yes or an energetic yes, which we're going to diagnose in a little bit. So, you know, it's really looking at as well with these resentful yeses, when you're saying yes to things that you're meaning no to, when you are creating that no and creating that space that I've talked about, it gives you that moment to think about why is it that you know, yes, wanted to trip off my tongue. Is it because I want to be liked? Is it because, you know, the people pleasing, that I need to be grateful and polite, that I need to put someone else's needs before my own? Because there's been lots of work done around this, around how women, you know, and the amount of conversations I've had with coaching clients about this stuff, and, you know, we come back to it, it's, you know, when we talk about more of this no, well, I could do it in this way, and I could do it in that way, you know, I need to be selfish, Again, women really are conditioned that if they put their needs before somebody else's, that they are selfish. And maybe we need to reframe that instead. Maybe it's not selfish. Maybe putting yourself first is is exactly where we need to be instead of women being conditioned to be liked, to please others and to put their needs before our own and to be grateful and polite for, you know, someone maybe needing us in that moment or whatever it may be, and how it may be that you are needing to be served by someone else's needs, that you're maybe getting your value from that, because that's not really where your value comes from, and we talked about value in the last episode, the safety valve, when I was on a much more of a negative um, spout, and I was going to call this mate know your default button, but as I said, I changed it to the energetic yes, to celebrate our 100th episode, but what I'm going to ask you to do as homework for this part is to Check in. How many no's can you say in this week ahead? I want to set you a challenge. How many no's can I say 
in this week ahead and checking how it feels to say those no's. Does it feel comfortable to you or does it not? And ladies, with our menstrual cycles, depending on where you are, or you may be perimenopausal, you may be more willing to say no. Apparently there's something than our hormones within that. And also when we're premenstrual, that that's when the nose trip off the tongue far more easily. That's when I get my shit done, ladies. When I kick people into touch where things need to happen, I'm not taking any more crap anymore. And, you know, but I just have to check in. I'm not too forceful with those no's and <laughs> do it from quite a, a, a grounded space. So, you know, if you're, or you want to wait and you don't want to do the challenge this week and you want to put that in your diary for when you're, Premenstrual, put your nose in there, but do check you do it from a grounded space and really check in with how these nose feel. So that is your challenge for this week to celebrate our hundredth episode. And now we're gonna look at the energetic yes, because when we say no, what happens is we create space for the energetic yeses. That is a yes that means yes. We say yes when we mean yes, we feel excited energized and expanded by the yes that we're saying. It feels good to us. It's a positive energy exchange with what it is that we're being asked and we want to reciprocate it. It's balanced, it's aligned and we create flow from that magical place. And an energetic yes, you know, I feel lighter already, I don't know about you, but it carries a much lighter tastier, fun energy. And what's beautiful about the energetic yeses that we can make is they're faster as well. It doesn't slow us down. An energetic yes attracts even more of an energetic yes. There's more flow, more space, more alignment. And in that sense, we can be really more committed to what it is that we're doing instead of this, as I said, this resentful, heavy, irritated, you know, dissatisfied, (laughs) hostile woman. None of us wants to be that. We don't want to be that. And we've all met those people, right? And it's that's often because they're so conditioned to the yeses. They're so weighed down by that within their life, within their business. Whereas they really need to make know their default so they can make more space for the energetic yeses. And I want you to take this moment to consider what would more energetic yeses look like in my life and in my business. Just feel the space of that. That's what this podcast is all about, creating the space for you to step into your genius. Women have less space. We have less space because we're making more of those resentful yeses because of the conditioning that we receive that we need to do that. And that is really preventing you massively from the energy of the energetic yes and creating the space of what it is that you can really step into. So take a moment to consider that. Maybe you're feeling resentful about some of the packaging processes that you're working with with clients maybe you're feeling some resentful about those clients maybe they are pushing more of those boundaries with you maybe it's family members and you know you're really needing to create that space so you can really step more into your purpose and potential So I'm going to just recap those three questions. How many resentful yeses, because I know some of you like to listen to this and then come back to it or I can come back to it at the end, is how many resentful yeses have you said yes to this week? Be honest and please, you know, check in with me on socials or whatever. Share any of those with me when I share this episode. How many no's can you say this week? How many no's can you say? Check in with how that's feeling to you. Can we make those no's feel good? Can we support each other in making those no's? And what would life and business look like with more energetic yeses? Because you create so much more space for yourself. What would that look like for you on an individual level? Again, I would love if you could share that with me. That would be amazing. And ladies, this is the last episode I'm going to talk to you about. I've got an announcement next week for episode 101, by the way, that we are going to... um, 
talk about being the woman with the most cake because I promised that last episode and I swapped things around a little bit and I've got an announcement for something that we are doing to celebrate She Rebel Radio and our birthday month which kicks off in September. We will be three years old at the end of that month on the 26th and also celebrating my birthday as well. I tied in the launch of She Rebel three years ago with my birthday so um, I have something super special coming up for you in set uh, in October but to celebrate and I'm going to announce that next week on She Rebel but this is the last episode today that I'm going to talk to you about pricing with integrity because what we're going to be looking at and diving into is the client resentment cycle Um, we're going to be diving into that really early on in the pricing with integrity self-study and then we're going to be deeper diving in the three peer group sessions that we have so don't forget to contact me and apply at www.lulumins.com forward slash pricing and you know we're going to be really looking at the energy and going deeper with that with the resentful yeses versus the energetic yeses and how we can really embody and create a better space for you with those energetic yeses within your business because there's nothing like pricing and finances and money to you know make us reflect on that why did I say yes to this for this and now I'm doing xyz and all these things and this isn't a great energetic alignment and match and it's so important as women that we support each other in that space to own our worth and hold our own during the financial whatever is coming and I would love for you if it speaks to you um, you know to step forward and work with us with pricing with integrity so it's been amazing to be with you for the past three years and our 100 episodes, I made that sound a bit final, it's definitely not, we'll be back next week with episode 101, I've got an exciting announcement, we're going to be talking about being the woman with the most cake, we definitely are talking about that and um, it's always amazing to be with you and as I always say if you love the show review subscribe share with other incredible women maybe you know another incredible woman who needs to be saying no to more things because she can make space so she can make space for more of the energetic yes have an amazing day have an amazing week and I hope to see you on socials with some of the challenges of sharing with me those resentful yeses you've recognized and what you're going to be saying no to this week you've been listening to she rebel radio it's been an honor to support you taking the time to discover more of your genius If you'd like to attend a retreat or work with me, please do visit lulumins.com and feel free to further the conversation with me and other incredible women on the usual social media platforms.